Hey guys, in this video, we are going to see how to open NuGet package in UAPA Studio. Now for this, first of all, let's go to orchestrator and go to one, you know, go to the tenant and click on package. Here I have got multiple packages. Let's say after a year or after some time, I would like to work and improve the previous package, right? Or there's some kind of a problem. I would like to work on it. Now I have not taken backup of those XAML files. All I have is orchestrator and here I see it is in NuGet package. For example, if you click on view versions here 1.017, okay, you can pick anything you wanted to work. Let's say I want to work with the latest one. I will select this and click on this three dots download package. Now the problem here is sometimes you would find uh, this is getting downloaded as dot NUPKG. Okay. If I open the downloads folder, this is a dot NUPKG file. If it is NUPKG, if you double click on it, it may not open in your studio. Now the question is, how do you really extract this, all those XAML files? I'll also tell you, okay, if you go to this, uh, this one, if you click here and uh, this option, for example, here, if you click, um, select this and click on this share button. Okay. See, all these XAML files are there. Okay, all these XAML files are there. Um, but if you have downloaded, no, you don't see that. It's there in .nupkg. Okay. So how do I extract these XAML files? It's quite simple. Uh, here on the file explorer, what you do? Click on this view. Okay. Click on the view and click on file name extensions. So by doing this, what would happen? This .nupkg will appear. Do you see? .nupkg will appear. The extension will appear. Okay. Now, once the extension appears by this action, right click on it and then, um, you know, rename this, remove this dot NUPKG and type ZIP or ZIP. Okay. Zip hit on enter. It is going to tell you if you change a file name extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Say yes to it. Now, what happened is it has become a zip. Okay. I will right click on this. Okay. Right click on this and I'm going to click on extract here. Extract here. See if this is working for you. Okay. This works for me. So once you click on extract, you can see everything has come here. Um, all the, and then inside that, or this is one way or else what I can do, I can right click and uh, I would say extract to automate with Rakesh with the name. Okay. So that will be there as, as a name. Okay. So it has downloaded as a name, exact name. I'll get inside this and inside there, there is something called lib, okay, lib, library. I'll go inside that. Then I see .NET 6.0, Windows 7.0, open that. And here, um, you know, I should be able to find the uh, DLL files. Okay. So here, if you see inside the content, okay, inside the content, I have the main.xaml file. Okay, this is one way. Um, let me try with some other uh, this one. Okay, for example, this bank teller customer details this is again a package from UiPath Academy. So I'm going to click on this view versions active and I'm going to download. I'll follow the same method. Let's see how this one is working. Let's go to the downloads. Here it has come. Right click, rename, or you can do F2, and then I'm seeing zip hit on enter say yes to this one now right click extract uh, to this one hit so it got extracted let me open this go to library then net 45 so it could be in the content or you know you understood right it could be in some other folder so here you can see inside library net 45 inside that i have all these xaml files now i can happily click on this xaml file and open in studio okay pretty simple one um, so in the previous one, if you see, it could be slightly different for you. Just check if it is not inside library. See for this one, there was no, nothing was inside library. So what I did is I went to content and found them. Okay. Main.xaml file and the project.json. Getting it. So this is how uh, you'll be able to open. So it is opening in UAPA studio. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, let's meet once again in our next content. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.